Hey guys, it's Better Ben for Pixel Spank. This is Soul Calibur 2, and this is possibly one of the finest fighting games I've ever played. I was about to say ever made, but I was like, you know what? Let's not even go down that route I've ever played. Now, this is of course the best version of the game, because it's the GameCube version, which means you have badass Link. Not just regular Link, badass Link. And apparently, I've unlocked six new characters since the last time I played, which was presumably a decade ago. I, I can no longer check, because having started this up, I can't check how old the save file is. If I was smart, I'd have done that first. Hmm. I mean, I know I'm going to be Link, but I'm just curious as to who I unlocked. It's been so long. Oh, that guy. I remember liking this fellow, because he has a big sword, and this pirate type. The Link's the best, obviously. I'm assuming I'll be able to play this perfectly. I'm going to attempt to complete the entire arcade mode today. Or maybe not if I get bored. This, uh, this holds up pretty well, actually. Just immediately run up and just punt the fuck out of her with my sword. Alright, let's venture into more buttons. Alright, that's kick. That's. That was something. Right, I've found several block buttons. I'm really good at blocking, apparently. Now, the shtick with Soul Calibur is that unlike most fighting games, everyone gets a weapon and is therefore different in, it, in an immediately noticeable fashion, which is what I like about it. Also, everyone gets a weapon and that guy with the nunchucks is really cool. That's my favourite move. You run in, and he just does like a, a full-on baseball swing with the, the sword. Right. See, in my head, he can use like bombs and burn arrow and shit. But I'm probably thinking of the Smash Brothers. Oh, I just rolled. Right. First battle, done. He gives it a little thrust. I like that, very cheeky. You're a good, you're a good one, Link. I never realised how hilarious the announcer is in this. I knew he was hilarious, just not how hilarious. I just remembered how to get weapons out. As as witnessed by how I just got loads of weapons out. Jesus Christ, wait. No, I can't jump. Did you notice how he didn't attack at all? It makes me think I'm playing on easy mode. Right, I'm going to immediately open with a burn arrow. Right, the downside of the burn arrow is I've forgotten how to use it. And if I fall off the edge, I will die. Boomerang. No, spin attack. That's it. Then how do I get the boomerang? Right, now just a little cheeky bomb on the floor. See, this is why Link is the master. He is the weapon master. How are you going to fight that? He's got bombs, he's got a bow and arrow. I had a boomerang for a while. Sword, shield. They even have cool other accessories for him. Might struggle with Ivy a bit. Her ass is incredibly distracting. I somehow blocked that completely by accident. Oh my god, did you see that move? He did a roll and then he like jumped up. It was amazing. Aha. The one thing I don't know is quite what doing that does. Alright, let's throw that up her ass. <laughs> Enjoying this greatly actually. I, I remember being okay at this game. Like, it's the only fighting game I've ever actually learned how to play to a certain extent. Oh, yeah, dodge that. Oh, haha. I'm, I'm far, far removed from this. <laughs> I really want to do that move again where he does that. Oh, that's it. 
<laughs> it's the little drop kick at the end I particularly like. Do you see that? He rolled in and just up, boom. I love it. This, uh, yeah, this. What, what I like about going back to my GameCube games is that they're all my favourite games for the most part. And it turns out I just really like them. Do that, kick him in the face. Alright, throw that out. Very hard to actually hit anyone with that bow and arrow. What I remember about this guy is he's a real git. Alright, let's throw him one of these. That was not a good idea. I don't know what he did. He just kind of sat down and jerked off his sword. Damn it, he's ready for my little roll attacks. You can't beat the sword, son. The sword is unbeatable because it is a sword. And Well, he's... It's... Shit. He used my own tactic against me by rolling at me. Alright. Already half a fight down somehow. How do you fight that? <laughs> oh god, the hell of a turnaround on this. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? I thought I was down, I thought I was out of it from the start and then suddenly a few good sword swings and a little roll and pop at the end. It's charade, actually. I think, I think of the arcade mode, I think there's this fight and one left. Right, let's see if... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look for some moves now. That was a mistake. <laughs> I was looking at the moves list and I was like, I don't understand any of this. Oh yeah, dodge this. He dodged it. The one thing I can't do, and I keep trying, is I block and then I want to be able to hop backwards a la Tales of Symphonia. Or tails of anything, really. All the tails games, that's a heavy feature. Block and hop. Right, I'm going to roll in. That's what I recall about Sherard now. He's not really his own character. He just, um... He nicks like a weapon from someone else and does, does their shtick. I think it might be anyone from the original Soul Calibur game, but I, I may have made that up. I'd like to know just how many people only brought this game because Link was in it. Because that's the only reason I got it. It's like, oh, it's a fighting game with Link in it. I'm on board. Shit, he blocked my roll. Get out of it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know. Ironically, a lot of people dream of night. Damn it. <laughs> Nightmares about drowning. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah, I shouldn't have shouldn't have done that. I I actually got that bomb out by accident then. I might die here. My first knockout. Suddenly this is a battle I might lose. Right, roll in. Right, you got me out there. Just do a move I've never done before. Seem to work in my favour. Off you go. Oh, that's how you finish, isn't it? Just a little, little cheeky knock into the river. Versus Raphael. Raphael. When I said that was the last battle, I was actually nowhere near. I think this is, in fact. Look, judging by the intro to this, where stuff is happening. Watch quietly and learn. I do find something very uh, cool about Raphael's fighting style. Just, just in general, that sort of fencing. It's just so baller. Get out of it. Unfortunately, they are playing the Zelda music, so I am destined to win. Alright, power this up. You can't... Okay. He, not only did he completely negate that attack, he didn't even have to block it. He just stood under it. I, c 
kicked him in the throat to his death. I don't know what I did just then, but it seemed to work out. I don't know if it's actually the case, but I feel that because he has a shield, his blocking is much better. In that half the time, you don't even need to block, because your shields, it's just always there. Like they have to physically hit around it. Alright, I think there's one fight left. And then it's... And it's game over. But actually much quicker than I thought it would be. It's only taken me 11 minutes so far. Make it a short one then. Unless I lose here. That would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? I don't think I'll lose. This guy's kind of a pussy. Maybe. I mean, he looks like he should be strong, but is he? In the episode of Death Battle, he lost to that guy from Berserk. Guts, I think. See, he's got a bit of sword in him. You gotta be careful, because he's on fire, you see. And fire is hot. And I don't have my red tunic. Which may be called the Goron tunic, I'm not 100% certain. I think it is. Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's the Goron tunic. Just start out with that kick. Managed to find my boomerang out of nowhere. We just we just stood at the other end fighting each other for a bit. He's he's got Ivy Sword all of a sudden. What would be cool is if uh, if him or Sherrod took on the uh, the weapon styles of whatever character had beaten you the easiest or the most. Get down. Finish it with a bomb. It's the coolest way. I must have been playing on super easy mode there, because that was super easy. Look, it's Soul Edge. Or Soul Calibur, I forget. It's Soul something. Link came to this world in order to defeat the evil which threatened Hyrule. Anything else? No? After a long journey, Link finally succeeded in sealing away the terrible evil. I've actually this is actually the shortest Zelda let's play anyone's ever done. I feel. <laughs> um, he not only saved his home world, he also maintained tranquility in this, and he quietly left. <laughs> I like that. He didn't just leave; he left quietly. <laughs> no fanfare. Well, except the ocarina. thousand gold for that as well. No, I don't know either. I mean, there's still time on the clock. I'm going to have a look at the what I feel is actually the main mode of the game, which is Weapon Master. Um, don't know if that's actually true or not. Don't, I don't need to worry about that. Yeah, so that was right, that was Arcade. There's also Time Attack and Survival. Team Battle and practice for extra mode okay extra time attack right and weapon yeah i think weapon master is is kind of the actual game cuz I've, oh, I've done loads of it right it's just i don't know what i'm looking at here i think these have yeah these are missions in them I'll just Saginus Temple. I, I, now, if memory serves, I always play. Uh, I always play Link, and I always pick this Mirror Shield weapon because it reflects like half the damage. So, I see your underwear. So you don't actually have to be particularly good to uh, to beat them. You just have to do slightly more damage than them, which I haven't done. I've realised it's because she can guard break, and I. Wow. Uh, okay, I'm not particularly good as it happens. I, I'm level 65. That must be high. Let's pick, pick another one. Navigate through the booby trap dungeon and defeat the boss. That sounds. Oh, I remember this. It's like. Uh, 
felt like a weird D and D sort of thing, isn't it? Yeah, this is weird. This this was a weird game. They look vicious as fuck. Damn it, she was ready. Oh yeah, there's booby traps. I used to be really good at this if I could complete this and now I can't. Oh, she fell off. I was lucky. <laughs> I was fucked otherwise. Ah, here we are. Weapon select. We got the Master Sword. Well, the Razor Sword. Which does Guard Break. Oh wait, there's a legend. Shorter reach, higher attack power, and they damage me when guarding. The armor shield, lower defense, attack power increases. Megaton hammer, that I remember. The cane of Burner, which as we all know is the one that puts the shield around you. Health recovery, that's handy. Mirror shield, reflect damage. Damage taken, become counters. Yeah, it's super useful. Magic sword, damage through guards, your horror attacks, not all attacks are easier to break. I think it's a fairy sword. I never figured out what it did. Drains health, higher attack, longer reach. Yeah, this one. A legendary weapon. I have no idea what it does, and I can never look it up. It's, it's like the greatest mystery of my life at, to date. I could probably look it up now, I'm not going to, but, you know, it's an option. You can buy shit. I didn't know that. Seems I brought most of the things. Right, let's, let's get out of here. There's one one thing I'd like to see, and that's the, the intro to the game, because it's brilliant. Like, all Soul Calibers have just a fantastic intro. I'm hoping I can just watch it though. Well, I'm just going to have to sit here until it happens. It shouldn't take long. I think that Necrid guy, there was a big deal at the time that he was designed by Todd McFarlane. At the time, I didn't know who Todd McFarlane is. I think he made Spawn, which I'm not really familiar with. And I, it, it, was, like, it, was, it was a big deal at the time, and I just don't know why. Oh, is this it? This could be it. No, this isn't it. It's just character profiles. You can't just force it to happen, you have to sit through the others first. Been here 10 minutes already. I'm just living on Twitter. At Beta Ray Burn if you're interested. I think this is it. Everybody shut up. Transcending history and the world, a tale of souls and swords, eternally retold. You know, with the bird, that kind of looks like she's just holding a big bit of bird shit. It's probably Zeus. This guy doesn't like his master, maybe. He's irrelevant, she's irrelevant. They're all the same person, maybe. He's the only one you care about. The only time I'll look like that on GameCube. This guy's cool. He's got swagger, so you know he's cool. Also, this is set in the in like the real world, and Link is here, so that's uh, yeah. Todd McFarlane designed this guy. I bet you didn't know that. He seems to be fighting Aladdin. Actually, it might be that guy he made. I'm not sure now. I'm sure a man invented these two, though. Almost, almost certainly. Wait, she can do magic? This whole game's been a lie. I remember liking this guy. Because he's a samurai. He's kind of like the last samurai fighting 
I don't know, the English, Chinese, someone with guns. I didn't really watch the film. So the deal is, there's Soul, there's Soul Edge, there's Soul Calibur, the hidden one, and there's there's um, there's another one, Soul Blade, I think. Now that Soul Blade is the evil one, Soul Calibur is the the other one, and Soul Edge is is the balancing one. Um, yeah, that wasn't Soul as good as I was hoping Calibur for. It wasn't worth two. the wait. Thanks for watching.